tell y'all a little story time since like five of you care so um and i don't want to bother like anybody because zach is out doing what he's doing and all my friends are asleep so he's the like now i'm in la so it's like another hour later so like i'm not gonna bother anybody so i'm gonna complain on snap so here's a little motherfucking story time if you watched my previous snaps then you would have seen that i was hanging out with a couple of my friends right everything was going so swell and literally halfway through hanging out i felt like a knot in my stomach start to form and i was like oh my gosh what's going on am i getting sick like is this food poisoning or something and then i realized i ate everything that like my friends ate so like obviously if they're not sick then why would i be sick so ate everything that they ate so i knew like okay it's not food poisoning and then i felt like i had to throw up so i was like oh my gosh maybe it is food poisoning and then all of a sudden like i got quiet and i didn't mean to it's just like all of a sudden i felt like i couldn't talk and then i just got like this super overwhelming feeling so i was like you know what let me just go back to my hotel i'm not gonna like you know if i don't feel good if i don't feel comfortable i'm not gonna sit here and pretend to like have a good time so i was like hey guys bye deuces food poisoning i'm going back to my hotel see you later the second i get in my uber the feeling comes like bitch cry just cry like i felt like i had to cry i wasn't going to because like i didn't want to like freak this guy out or make him like cancel on yourself Thing. so i was like let me just like hold it in until i get to my hotel it's only 15 minutes you got this bitch but i managed to calm myself down and he was also like trying to talk to me in a conversation so like that also helped but literally like i felt like you guys wow like what the fuck i have not had an anxiety attack since like i don't know like what august august or september like, it's been such a long time. It's literally been August, September, October, November, December, January, February. It's been seven, almost seven months. I, I have not had any panic attacks, no anxiety attacks, no depression, no... I have a little social anxiety sometimes, but that's normal in a lot of people, you know? But, like, other than that, everything has been so good, and now all of a sudden I'm like, fuck, like... I have not had an anxiety attack in seven months, but seven months like it came out of nowhere like holy fuck like i don't like the way i feel right now like it feels so weird like i feel like i need to like cleanse my whole body and like i don't know holy water the fires in the pits from hell i don't know i need to be cleansed by something but yeah now i'm going to go to bed i guess like my literally just like oh i can't stop moving around like i just feel like so anxious out of nowhere and i had like i was able to pull myself out of the anxiety attack like you know that like your conscience is like hey bitch like you're gonna fucking die like hey like the world's ending we're fucking depressed bro and then my subconscious is like everybody's healthy you're healthy everybody's fine you're good they're good we're good so like i would manage to like pull that to the front of my head and like pull myself out of it which is something i was not able to do in the past i like i will never forget the time that i had a panic attack at disneyland oh my goodness you guys claudia literally was like oh my god like she went into full-on mom mode i literally had to like fucking sit down on the side i oh my gosh oh my gosh not cute but yeah so that happened that's how my night my night went i had an amazing day and then here comes nighttime and a bitch can't go without having a fucking fit pretty sure some of you know where i'm like coming from or what i'm getting at because like obviously like a lot of people experience panic attacks and anxiety attacks and sometimes they don't realize it and they think they're just like super stressed out but a lot of people go through it so don't ever feel like you're alone and don't ever feel like you're the only one that like goes through that stuff it's not fun it's not easy but like you're not alone that's why i like to share stories like this because obviously it's embarrassing like i'm sure there's gonna be some of my friends watching this like why is vanessa sharing that like girl no like i have to i have to i'm an influencer and i want to show you guys that you're not alone and you're not the only one that goes through this bullshit because honestly at the end of the day nobody's perfect and we all have our shit that we go through so yeah that's why i shared this story not because i'm like oh show me attention or hey i want to embarrass myself and you know show everybody that you know suddenly things are not okay but that's what makes me me we're not doing that i'm like nervous to come here but i have restless leg syndrome which means like your leg like you can't help but bounce it all the time a lot of people experience it but like literally like me though like my case is so annoying like to where i'll have to like like grab my leg and like stop it like stop like and then i'll stop and move my hand and then three seconds later without even thinking about it my leg starts bouncing again 
So, like, I started, like, experiencing that so much, like, especially today. Like, my leg wasn't just, like, bouncing. It was going, like, like, fucking fluttering like a damn butterfly. So, that was annoying as shit. But, yeah, I think, like, I literally, like, the anxiety and, like, the stress and just, like, overthinking so much caused me to have that, like, attack. And I think the reason why the attack happened so easily is because I spent seven months of peace. You guys literally having, I had seven months of, like, peaceful living no drama no problems no fighting very happy life so i think because like i finally felt like a little stressed i was like (gasps) 